for me, this is my go-to wall, simply because I don't think R30 is enough anymore. All right, just you know, call me old fashioned, call me whatever, but you know, call me names, but I'll take a two by six advanced frame wall, fill it with you know, my, my, my wood fiber bat. I'm gonna put OSB on the outside for structural reasons. And it's also gonna provide my vapor throttle, <laughs> even though I might not need it. And I put two layers of rigid insulation on the outside, giving me, giving me four inches, uh, one by four wood furring with a wood screw and whatever cladding system I want, and I'm good to go. Gypsum board on the inside. And so I've got a vapor throttle in the plywood or OSB, but the wall can dry in both directions. And I got, this is called a Porsche assembly. It's not a, it's better than a Lexus. It's not a Yugo. Okay. This is, this is, this is what I recommend when anybody says, well, okay, what would, what would you do? Well, this is what I would do. All right. Um, well, I want more. Arr, I, you know, okay, all right, fine, fine. So I can, you know, just replace the rigid insulation on the outside with a, a ladder truss and blow it filled with stuff. And, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm good to go, right? I've got my bad insulation in the, in the, in the cavity, in the, in the wood frame cavity, and then I blow the insulation into that space and, you know, R40, R60, you know, knock yourself out. It's, you know, it's not the board stuff. Um, well, could I do it with a double wall? Yeah, woohoo. R60, R80, knock yourself out. You don't need a 200,000, you don't need a 2,000 horsepower car, you know, but you could have a 2,000 horsepower car. You know, I don't think you need an R80 wall, but here's a way you could have an R80 wall. And believe it or not, the, <laughs> the carbon footprint is pretty freaking small, pretty darn small.